Okay, we are back in the Bronx. It seems like in today's time, the gangsters don't hit their target. This story takes place in and around the John Adams houses and is more of a profile piece. Let's get right into it. On June 11, 2016, Jessica White was murdered in a playground before her mother and her children, the victim of horrific and senseless gang violence. Steven Siri Reynoso ordered that shooting and was responsible for Jessica's death. As a result, he will now spend the rest of his life in a federal prison. Siri Reynoso was a member of the Dominicans Don't Play Gang, which operated in the New York City area since at least the early 1990s. DDP's members and associates, largely individuals from the Dominican Republic, have engaged in narcotics trafficking, robbery, shootings, attempted murders, and murder to promote the gang. Siri Reynoso, like other DDP's members and associates, used hand signs, colors, sayings, bandanas, and other items to represent the gang. Siri Reynoso promoted the gang and his own membership in the gang through posting messages and photographs on Facebook. He also had DDP tattoos. The DDP's chief gang rival is the Trinitarios, another street gang consisting largely of individuals from the Dominican Republic. Over the past decade, DDPs and Trinitarios have engaged in a long-running feud in the New York City area and elsewhere, which has included several murders between the gangs. Siri Reynoso committed crimes with the DDP since at least about 2009. On or about April 8, 2009, the defendant snatched a wallet from a victim and fled from a pursuing officer. On or about August 20, 2009, the defendant, along with three others, at least one of whom was a fellow DDP member or associate, threatened and robbed an individual in Manhattan. One of the attackers, whom the complainant believed was Siri Reynoso, unsuccessfully tried to grab a gold chain from the victim's neck. Later on the same day, the he committed another robbery or attempted robbery, which resulted in his fleeing from officers and his apprehension outside of a grocery store, as the evidence at trial showed. Siri Reynoso pleaded guilty to robbery in the second degree on February 24, 2011 and was sentenced to 42 months imprisonment and three years supervision, concurrent with the above described grand larceny conviction. The defendant was released on August 1, 2012, but his parole was revoked after he was rearrested on August 21, 2013, in connection with the shooting of Sosa and Corella. On July 28, 2013, Siri Reynoso shot two Trinitarios members, Sosa and trial witness Corella, in the Bronx. During that shooting, Siri Reynoso approached a group of Trinitarios standing outside of a store and asked, who's Trinitarios? When one of them responded that they all were and laughed because it was a well-known Trinitarios territory, Siri Reynoso pulled a gun out of a bag and shot the two men as they attempted to run away. Both survived. Between 2009 and 2014, Sosa was the leader of the Greenbridge set of the Trinitarios and operated in the vicinity of the Fordham and Kingbridge neighborhoods of the Bronx, more specifically, Kingsbridge Road and Webb Avenue. They sold cocaine, crack, heroin, marijuana, oxycodone and suboxone. In order to protect the drug trafficking operation and members of the gang, member and associates of the Trinitarios, such as the 18 Trays, utilized violence, including shootings, against rival gang members. Let's stay on track though. So after the Sosa shooting, Siri Reynoso bragged about leaving Sosa kidless and showed to Hada surveillance video of the shooting on YouTube and attempted to demonstrate his toughness in a prison dispute with trial witness Martinez by telling Martinez that he was the one who had shot Sosa. He was incarcerated until February 24, 2016. In the summer of 2016, Siri Reynoso, Tejada, DDP member, Hernandez, aka, Origita, and another DDP member traveled from the Bronx to Massachusetts to rob a drug dealer of money. Siri Reynoso carried an AK-47 style gun and Tejada and Hernandez were also armed with guns. On their way, they stopped to buy duct tape and zip ties that they planned to use to restrain the victim. At the victim's residence, they kicked down one door but were unable to access the victim's apartment and had to abandon the robbery. While leaving the victim's residence, Siri Reynoso pointed the AK-47 at the victim who was yelling out of his window at the robbery crew. Siri Reynoso also sold drugs in connection with his DDP membership. From at least in or about 2016 to 2017, Siri Reynoso sold marijuana and oxycodone, also known as Percocet. He stored the drugs, among other places, at fellow DDP member Ruiz's apartment in the John Adams houses, where Siri Reynoso often stayed. 
He sold drugs from Ruiz's apartment and with Ruiz's assistance. Siri Reynoso kept about $300 $400 worth of marijuana and a bit 100 Percocet pills in his stash for ready sale to customers. On one occasion, Siri Reynoso provided Tejada with a quantity of marijuana and told him, in sum, to make money by selling it. Siri Reynoso discussed selling pills with fellow DDP member Hernandez in Facebook messages. In other Facebook messages, Siri Reynoso's fellow DDP members, including Nunez and Ruiz, discussed their drug trafficking conduct. Siri Reynoso also discussed drug trafficking in a recorded call with an individual who was then incarcerated on Rikers Island, in which he stated, in sum, that he would send drugs to the inmate, so the inmate, and he could make money off of the sales. Siri Reynoso also possessed guns in furtherance of his drug trafficking conduct. He kept his AK-47 style gun in Ruiz's apartment and in Hernandez's girlfriend's apartment, both of which were locations where Siri Reynoso also lived. As discussed below, on one occasion, after Siri Reynoso had a fight with Lobo, a Trinitario who told Siri Reynoso he could not sell drugs near the John Adams houses, Siri Reynoso used the AK-47 to defend his territory. Siri Reynoso and Ruiz also possessed a revolver that they kept in Ruiz's apartment. In August 2016, the New York City Police Department recovered a loaded firearm and marijuana from Ruiz's apartment. In the months and weeks leading up to the murder of Jessica White on June 11, 2016, Siri Reynoso was in a dispute with Trinitarios living near the John Adams houses. The Trinitarios in that area sold drugs and outnumbered the DDPs in the area, including Siri Reynoso and Ruiz. Shortly before the murder, Siri Reynoso posted on Facebook warnings that he was willing to use violence Watch what you say before you get laid down. Approximately one to two weeks before the murder, Siri Reynoso saw Lobo while walking through the John Adams houses area and attacked him. When other Trinitarios nearby defended Lobo, Siri Reynoso and Tejada, who was with him at the time, ran to Ruiz's nearby apartment. In the apartment, Siri Reynoso, Ruiz, and another DDP member retrieved the AK-47 and went back outside to find Lobo and defend the DDP's claim to the territory. On June 11, 2016, Siri Reynoso, Tejada, and Ruiz were at a small party in Ana's apartment in the John Adams houses. Siri Reynoso and Ruiz left the apartment and said they had to get more alcohol. While they were outside, they met DDP members Luis Nunez and Fausto Torres, along with another DDP member, near Ruiz's apartment. Siri Reynoso pointed out a black car circling nearby and told the group that he had problems with Trinitarios in the area. Siri Reynoso, Ruiz, Nunez, and the other DDP member then met in Ruiz's apartment before Nunez and the other DDP member eventually came back downstairs and left in Torres's car. While walking from Ruiz's apartment building back to Ana's building, Siri Reynoso and Ruiz ran into Lobo and other Trinitarios in the playground in the John Adams House's courtyard. The Trinitarios followed Siri Reynoso and Ruiz, and Siri Reynoso taunted them to chase them into the lobby of Ana's building. The Trinitarios did so, and Siri Reynoso and Ruiz ran up to Ana's apartment, where they told the others inside that they had just been chased. Siri Reynoso, Ruiz, and Hernandez, who had since arrived to Ana's apartment, went into a bedroom. Tejada later joined them. Siri Reynoso was talking on his cell phone to Nunez, arranging for Torres's car to stay in the area. While talking on the phone, Siri Reynoso pointed at Hernandez and indicated that Hernandez should give the gun he was holding to Tejada. Siri Reynoso then told Tejada that Lobo and the other Trinitarios had tried to stab him. Siri Reynoso told Tejada that he should go to the playground outside and aim at the particular Trinitario who had tried to stab him and that he should clap him. Hernandez passed Tejada the gun. Siri Reynoso pointed out the window to Torres's car, which was waiting on a nearby street, and told Tejada to run to the car after shooting the Trinitario. He also gave Tejada a black bandana, a DDP symbol, and told him to use it as a mask over his face. Tejada then left the apartment and went downstairs, where he saw the Trinitarios next to the playground, as Siri Reynoso had described. He shot at two individuals, including the person Siri Reynoso had identified. One of his bullets hit and killed Jessica White, who was sitting behind the Trinitarios on a park bench next to her mother. Jessica White was 28 years old. Tejada then ran to Torres's waiting car, as Siri Reynoso had instructed, which took him away.
The Nana's apartment, Siri Reynoso, Ruiz, and Hernandez noticed emergency vehicles arriving. Siri Reynoso and others then celebrated that they had gotten someone to do it. Siri Reynoso and Nunez spoke on the phone immediately after the shooting, as Torres was driving Tejada away in the car with Nunez. Other individuals later came to Ana's apartment and brought another gun. The next day, Siri Reynoso and Tejada saw on the news that someone had died. Siri Reynoso told Tejada not to worry, because it would result in a reckless endangerment charge at most. In the days and weeks after the murder, Siri Reynoso posted taunts and boasts on Facebook about the murder, including a photograph of himself making a DDP hand sign under the Jackson Avenue train station sign with the caption, No respect around here, a message to the Jackson family Trinitario said, of which Lobo was a member. Siri Reynoso and other DDPs have threatened individuals they believed were witnesses against Siri Reynoso. At an arraignment in this case, Siri Reynoso told Tejada to keep his mouth shut. About three weeks before the trial, an Instagram account used by DDP member Castillo, aka Peseta Flow, posted police reports that revealed that Sosa talked to the police in 2013 in connection with Siri Reynoso's July 2013 shooting of him. C. That same week, an individual incarcerated with both Siri Reynoso and trial witness Corella, the other victim in the July 2013 shooting, told Corella that Siri Reynoso said that, if Corella were to testify against him, he would kill Corella and his family. Sometime in the months prior to trial, Siri Reynoso threatened trial witness Heriberto Martinez with a knife and told Martinez, in substance, that he does not like cooperators. Approximately two weeks before the start of the trial, Siri Reynoso entered Martinez's unit at MDC, despite administrative separation. Siri Reynoso pointed at Martinez and then drew his hand in a slicing motion in front of his neck. During trial, Martinez was approached by other inmates at MDC, who entered his cell brandishing a knife and accused him of cooperating against Siri Reynoso. This about wraps it up for this one. Rest in peace to the families affected by these alleged acts of violence. But as always, stay low, and thanks for watching.